Think back to when you were in elementary and middle school. What kinds of supplies did you have for the classroom? Sure, there were mini pencil sharpeners, bendy rulers, and maybe some scented markers, but I'm talking about the really fun stuff. For me, pen cap skateboards were really popular, as it was common for kids to break these plastic pieces off to use for fun, as well as collecting and trading those little colored pencil grips, especially the glittery ones. Though these items are pretty nostalgic to 2000s kids, I would argue neither of them is very iconic on their own, and they didn't really outlive their existence within the classroom. It takes a special kind of supplies for that, and one that to this day is still nostalgic to the kids who grew up with them. Behold, Fooey. Fooey itself refers to a brand of school supplies first released in the mid-2000s under its parent company, Stanford. Documentation is very scarce, though as far as I can tell, the line began with a series of markers around 2005. The line would expand over the years to include standard supplies like pencils and pens, but also some products with gimmicks, like mix and match markers. The lava lamp pencil sharpeners also became an icon of the classroom, but these products are just the tip of the iceberg. The main attraction that Fooey offered, and by far what became the defining point of this line, were the eraser heads. When my brother, Foolish Connor, first mentioned these to me as something nostalgic he grew up with, I didn't really remember them at all. These are eraser caps which were sculpted to look like the Fooey mascot's head, and were sold in packs just like their other products. They came in a variety of different colors and sizes, but that was about it, there was no other gimmick to them. However, it's clear I was the one out of the loop here, as they seemed to grow in popularity after my time in elementary school, and to the kids who experienced these firsthand, they know. It's not that the erasers needed a gimmick to be popular, but rather it's the fact they existed in the classroom. You know how toys were constantly banned for causing distractions? Well in a way, these erasers became the replacement to that. My brother would tell me stories about how all of his friends had these, and they'd use them like characters going on adventures around the classroom. The shape of the eraser being that of the Fooey Monkey gave more life to the item compared to a normal eraser cap, but since they could still be used as normal erasers, no one could put a ban on them. They seemed like a whole lot of fun, and that's only one part of their popularity. The other is that of their collectability. It goes without saying that for the variety of sizes and colors these came in, kids would always be trying to build up their collections and trade with each other. What's more is that teachers even seem to be in favor of this phenomenon, with many using them as prizes and special rewards that their students treasure and work towards. It's so cool seeing something as simple as an eraser gain so much attention. However, just like all fads, it's going to become forgotten eventually. When the 2000s came to an end and the generation that grew up with them moved on, Fooey seemed to go out of style. There is not a whole lot of documentation on what happened to them, but the most I can find is that another Stanford brand, Papermate, seemed to have absorbed the entirety of Fooey and began re-releasing their old products and generic packaging without the old logos. Nowadays, you can't find any of these erasers for sale, and Fooey products in general are pretty hard to find. I can't even find packaging or release info for some of them. But what might be the most interesting of all, that really surprised me, is the Fooey culture that still exists in the late 2000s bubble. I tried looking anywhere I could for better documentation on these, and accidentally came upon YouTube videos from 11, 12, and even 13 years ago of kids playing with Fooey erasers in school. The quality of these videos is pretty bad, and I can't even figure out what's supposed to be going on in most of them. But despite that, I still get a sense of nostalgia for that time in my life. Hanging out with friends, goofing around over some fad toy that we all got so caught up in as kids. I particularly like this video of a kid making a short movie at his kitchen table. You can even see his books laying around as if he's supposed to be doing his homework, but got distracted by his movie idea with the Fooey. Even though I didn't really live the Fooey fad, I'm still hit by the nostalgia it represents from over a decade ago. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out some of my other game-related Lost Media videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Finn.